Okay, so this is Raspberry Pi OS running on the Raspberry Pi 5 and this is the official operating system. It's still in beta at the moment, but uh, from what I can tell, this is how it's going to look. And it's pretty much the same as it's looked for many years, really. It hasn't had lots of changes on it. They do a lot under the hood uh, about performance and optimization, things like that. But uh, graphically, it pretty much hasn't changed. So the way apps launch and, and work and everything. And there's a reason for this. And the big reason is that this operating system works right back to the original Raspberry Pi. Uh, obviously, it doesn't run very well on the original Raspberry Pi, but it does run somewhat. Uh, but it's, it's acceptable on a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, it's pretty decent on a Raspberry Pi 4. In fact, I've been using it on a Raspberry Pi 4 for the last four years or so. Although for the last year, I changed and I changed to KDE Plasma. And uh, I'll just shut this down and show you what Plasma looks like, but on a Raspberry Pi 4. So we have customizable login screens, customizable loading screens, and you get an OS that I think looks really nice and uh, has a nice store for discovering software on it. And uh, also you can snap various different things. So I can snap it to one corner or one side or snap it to the whole screen. So if I open up another app, I can then do the same to that. So here's YouTube in the browser. And again, I can go over to the left and I can do the same with this and just put it over to the right. Just little things like that are really nice. I love all the notifications and everything that come up on here, very customizable. And also, if I go to themes, so if I press the Windows key and start typing themes, you can see we've got global theme here, and it makes it very easy to get new themes. You can see they're rated, and you can search for various different things. And uh, if you click on a theme, it will tell you a bit about it. And you can install it and just start using it straight away. Super simple. But underneath it all, it's still Raspberry Pi OS. So it's got all the same compatibility and everything. But I haven't been able to get this running on the Raspberry Pi 5 with the beta software. I haven't been able to get it to take any different graphical user interface until now. So let's shut this down. Again, nice customizable screens. So to launch GNOME dash shell dash dash Wayland. And so this is the interface we get, which is the same interface as you get with Ubuntu. And if we start launching some things, so the web browser, press the Windows key, Raspberry Pi imager, text editor, uh, what else have we got here? The discover store as well. So when you press the Windows key, it nicely lays everything out, but also you can use other windows. So I can basically move this over to the side and I can switch between all these desktop environments nice and quickly. And again, just press the Windows key and it goes back to full screen, Windows key, and it does the Windows. Now, the thing it doesn't do is Windows snapping. It did come up with some sort of error as to why it wouldn't do it. Obviously, this will happen fine on newer versions, but at the moment it isn't working. But performance is very good. And this is the thing about having more power. We can have this nicer desktop environment, more functional desktop environment. Uh, I like the way that... Uh, GNOME deals with all the settings and everything. So if we click on settings, everything is really nicely laid out, very clear, very straightforward to access all the audio settings. And uh, I changed the mouse controls because I like the what it says as natural scrolling. So when I push up with the mouse pad, it goes up. Uh, but if I do 4K HDR Lee PSP video, I'm not going to play it in 4K because we haven't got the graphical drivers yet. But uh, if we play a bit of this video, you'll see that the playback is fine as well and it's nice and snappy. You can see that it updates the software on its own as well. And we get various different notifications pop up. Not as many as KDE Plasma, which I'd rather, but I can't have that yet. I definitely will be getting KDE Plasma running. So you can see, or if I do stats for nerds, that uh, YouTube performance is decent. It drops frames right at the start, which generally happens on YouTube, but when it's playing, it's absolutely fine. Now, it does seem to be that uh, these versions of Raspberry Pi OS come with H.264 FI enabled. So this version automatically blocks 60 FPS video, and uh, that's good at the moment because 60 FPS is uh, is a bit laggy. I mean, it plays, but uh, but it's definitely dropping some frames. But 30 is absolutely fine, as you can see. As soon as it picks up and it starts to work, there you go. So 67 drops, and it's not dropping anymore now. 
Um, but yeah, this performance is excellent. So if I go BBC Sport and just show how quickly it all launches and works. And this is running from an SD card uh, and it's it's still nice and snappy. So yeah, I'm really pleased to get GNOME on here. I I've been trying to get all sorts of uh, interfaces working with TaskCell, but loads of things just don't work. So it's not as customizable as KDE in the way that I like it, but I do like the way it works. I like the way you can search through the apps as well. It's nice and smooth, nice and easy to do. And I like the way all of this displays so we can quickly just jump back into a particular desktop. And if we wanted to do a search for something, so say for instance, the Dolphin emulator, well, it will come up with Dolphin browser and Dolphin emulator. There you go, so you can click on it. And uh, it's just a nicer experience than the add remove store that you get with Raspberry Pi OS, which basically looks like this. And if we do a search for Dolphin, we'll get all sorts of things come up and it's just a bit more awkward to try and navigate through. Although very fast and again, works really well on the older Pis, but we're on the Pi 5 now. We have, uh, well, I've got eight gig of RAM, but even on the four gig model, this operating system will still work nicely. And it's, uh, we've got all the different backgrounds that are all built in. And you really have can have uh, quite a few really nice looks. I like the way it even transitions from one to the other. I haven't looked at um, customizing GNOME, so maybe I'll have a look at that. I mean, ultimately I do want KDE Plasma, but for now, this will be the desktop environment I'm using until I can get KDE Plasma running. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.